yes, there is creative freedom, but we must realize that if there are no rules or boundaries, people don't know what they can do and what they can't do. Some things will not win you a role. Don't get caught acting. When you're watching the movies, turn off the sound. When your voice does not do that, there's a problem. Because that's not the way we talk. They've checked you out. They've seen you're not being melodramatic. <laughs> It's <laughs> trouble. You need to be what? Believable. Say it loud, let me hear. Believable. I don't know how many auditions you have attended. Some things will not win you a role. And that's what I've been trying to correct since. You don't go to audition with cap. When you are called, you don't enter audition room with a cap. When you are called, you don't enter audition room with eyeglasses. Do you know why? Your eyes speak. Your eyes act. A good director look into your eyes. You see this line on our forehead. These lines on our foreheads is a language on its own. Okay, if you want to be a good actor, you have to be watching movies. When somebody recommends a movie to you, don't watch like you want to be entertained. We all love movies. That's probably where we got our first love for, for acting. But there's something I want you to realize. Movies are like your classroom. So the movies that you like, watch them, but watch them not for entertainment now. Study their expressions, their body language, and how they say their lines. See how the different close-ups and medium shots tell different stories from a long shot. <laughs> we need to know what is a good movie, what is a good story, what is a bad story? And it is subjective. But I'm telling you, turn off the sound and observe what's happening. If after five or ten minutes you can understand the story, what the story is, that's good filmmaking. What I'm talking about by turning down the volume is that there are non-verbal aspects of acting. And there are also visual storytelling techniques that you as an actor have to understand. When you watch movies that you like and actors that you like, you will notice some subtle things that they do that are very loud. These are the things that you can observe as actors when you study movies, not for entertainment now, but to find out what great actors do that make them great. Melodrama over loud it's mugging if we do it over the top we are humming yeah okay that becomes over melodrama becomes over but if you are playing comedy melodramatic acting is what we term to be over the top acting which is fine if you're playing a comedic role or the genre is comedy if you get somebody calling you from America saying, can you come and do this thing? They checked you out. They've seen you're not being melodramatic. But if you're doing a drama, which is more about conveying emotions, then over the top acting is not the best form of acting. It's over dramatic, it's exaggerated, and it will detract from the authenticity of the character that you're playing. So please avoid the temptation to overact or most importantly, don't get caught acting. The thing that you can't do as an actor, don't get caught acting. You mean? It's trouble, it's trouble. Do you understand? And there's some people, it's my passion, it's my passion. Then you now say, okay, act. 
they would you actually see them now change. Oh, I'm act, I'm acting now. Acting. <laughs> oh, be careful. So you some you you do need to pause at some time. Yeah. Gather yourself. They've said action. It doesn't mean you must do it the next second. That action. Gather yourself. Go into your character. Uh -huh. Mr. Lagwaja, what are you doing there? I told you I will catch you one day. I'll catch you now. Wait. Are you saying that you don't think I'm a nice person? Be careful about this. Avoid speaking in a monotone manner where every word is delivered with the same tone and emphasis. Instead, strive to convey the true essence of your character's words. Inject emotion, inflection and energy into your lines to make them come alive. There's something I, I saw about you guys reading that I think if you're not careful, all right, if you're not careful, I just wanted to get this straight. If you're not careful, you may not pass audition. Girls, you know what? This old legging hustle will be over soon. My dad has promised to fix me up with a new car and we'll be moving around campus in style. Oh, that would be so pink. I can just imagine all the haters staring at us driving down the road. <laughs> Jealousy we kid in. <laughs> you let us drive a shot. Okay, nice. the first person is getting me wrong. All right? The first person is getting me wrong. Uh, she starts like this. Acting is like music. Uh, acting is like music. It modulates. Understand it modulates when your voice does not do that, yeah. there's a problem because that's not the way we talk. When we talk, we modulate it, doesn't no sound goes like this straight, it goes like this, you know. Sound goes like this, so we you need to do that whenever we're showing you something, yeah. And I said, This is the danger. Don't do it exactly the way he did it. Just get the intention because you know you, you have your own way of doing it. So when we say focus, yeah, you can't be distracted by the lights, by the this, by the that. Do you understand? If you allow the set and the fact that everybody is looking at you to affect you, you... As an actor, it is so vital for you to be highly focused. Ignore these people. Go into yourself. Focus, look up. You have to have the ability to eliminate fear. This requires intense concentration and presence. So for example, when you step into a scene, it's vital to immerse yourself fully in that character's world. Don't let fear or external distractions take you out of the moment. Okay, let's talk about what you do when the camera is rolling and you fluff your lines. Sorry. When you make a mistake or you get a little bit lost. The worst thing to do and the thing that you must not do is to say sorry and stop. When you make a mistake, don't say, oh, sorry. You've broken your character. You don't need to tell us you've made a mistake. Just stop in your mind and go back to where you are okay and then just continue. Pause and pick up as if nothing had happened. We all fluff. Just pause and continue. To the point that sometimes some people won't even know that you made a mistake. But the minute you say, I'm sorry, yeah? Everybody knows you've made a mistake. And your character goes because you become you. Stay in your character. Let me take this opportunity to say a very, very big thank you. Thank you for following us. Thank you for listening and thank you for being the audience. Do keep coming and do keep learning. Thank you. We're not teaching you 
theater acting. You need to know where the camera is. I see a habit that's going to take you a while to get rid of. He's looking for his mark. So you see why it starts getting difficult? Sit on your hands. You've got to train yourself to stop doing that. 